Check, check, check. Video check. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on this side. Gotta get used to that, Leo. <laughs> I know. We just need like a Ken Leo. Ken Leo. The Ken Leo show. Leon. Leon. <laughs> One of us is gonna look really good. It's you right and now. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Leo from Keyprint Co. This is Kenyon from Kenyon Ken. And today we're actually gonna be showing Kenyon how to print on face masks with the Epson 2100. Let's do it. All right, guys. The first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this setup, put our adapter on it, then we can start printing on face masks. Let's get into it. So when you get your face mask kit, it's gonna come in this box right here, and here's everything that comes with it. So. So this is the setup station. It's the most important part when we're setting it up away from the machine. This is the master adapter. Super important because this is gonna let you convert your machine to be able to print other things besides just t-shirts. Here's the face mask platen, and this is what we're gonna be using today. With this platen, you can print on face masks and like four other placements, but we'll go over that later. The face mask platen is gonna come with a tucker and it's gonna let you do any kind of face mask that you want. You have a C-clamp so you could strap it down to the table. And then a face mask. So you can start printing off the bed. <laughs> and in the instructions. <laughs> in case you didn't watch this video. All right guys, for this segment, we're gonna have Kenyon do the setup. So Kenyon, let's start off with a setup station. Cool. And then you wanna C-clamp it down to the table. Okay, so what is this for again? So what that does is it lets you set up shoes, platins, hats, face masks away from the machine. So you can actually set something up while the machine's printing. Okay, for sure. So it'll make it go by like way faster? Yeah, you'll definitely get more prints out of it per hour. Sweet. Is it this way or that way? That way. So you want to make sure that the little bumpies are at the front and then just C-clamp it to the table. Cool. So this is correct? That's right. correct. All right. That should be pretty good, right? And then I'm guessing we just pop this off. That's it. And then you're going to have to take this metal box off. The way you take it off is that there's a little screw right there. Do you have a screwdriver by chance? Yeah, I do. While Kenyon gets the screwdriver, this piece right here, the master adapter, is gonna replace this metal box right here. So the cool thing about this, and the reason why we invented this, is because this is an awesome machine, but for 3,000, sorry, sorry, for 13,500 bucks, this machine should be able to print more than just t-shirts. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. So you unscrew that little screw right there, and it's this one right here, and now you just gotta take the metal box out. The only thing you have to remember with the master adapter, which is this part right here, mm -hmm. is that this little pin has to be facing forward. The cool part about it is you can actually still adjust the heights, so all of the height sensors are still reacting. The cool part about this is that the pins at the back are always gonna land in the same place on the master adapter, so as long as everything snaps into place, you don't have to worry about alignment. Okay, so my garment creator says offline right now, so we're gonna have to restart the printer because I haven't like restarted it in a really, really long time. So the software trips after a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, wow, it usually takes way longer than that to turn <laughs> off, but okay. And that's it, kids, all half a second. <laughs> all right, so we got garment creator open. Uh, what palette size do we use? So the first thing you wanna do is change the layout settings and then go to, yep, go to extra small, it's a seven by eight one. Is it oh, extra small, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then drop in the artwork you want. Well, let's do this one. Nice. So the easiest way to think about it is you want to go up three inches, so one, two, three. And then it's going to be able to print from there to four, five, six. So from three to six, that's going to be your print area. And then from the middle, it's going to be two inches to the left and two inches to the right. Awesome. So one, two, three. Yep. Four, five, six. Yeah. So I can make this a little bigger. Oh yeah. So your print surface area is gonna be three inches by four inches, starting three inches from the bottom. So it's perfect. Cool, let's go ahead and print this. Oh, let me make oh, sure change it's on it, wire. yeah. There you go. And I print. Look at that, you got it. Yo. That's coming out really, really clean. Awesome. <laughs> People are gonna be like, huh? Like, where'd you get that made? Is that guy wearing a hundred dollar bill of himself on his face? <laughs> I, I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> People have been asking for these. Like, seriously, that's uh, one of my number one DMs. Like, oh, can you print on face mask? Can you print on face mask? Now I can give it to him. 
You wanna dry it up real quick? Yep. Forgot about that part. Not for sure. Mind. So you put on the heat press? We can do two at a time, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Cover it with your craft paper. So the temperature, the speed, and then the pressure is gonna be determined on what type of material the face mask is made out of. But generally speaking, if it's made out of about the same things as a t-shirt, like 100% cotton, you should be good with the same settings. Austin. Awesome. <laughs> it's hot. like burning my right. hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> the second you did that, I was like, this guy's like, really committed. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it on, it's too hot. It's piping hot, but I really like that you don't show any pain. All right, so you wanna put it up three inches from the bottom, so one, two, three, yep, all the way up to four, five, that's beautiful. Cool. Print, print. Ready to go? Let's do it. Definitely, definitely, platinum height level one. If you can, if you could flatten it nice enough. Yeah, so for pre-treating it, I always like to put it on a t-shirt first. You don't have to, obviously, but it makes cleaning up at the end of the day so much easier. So because these are made out of roughly the same things t-shirts are, you want to use pretty much the same settings that you would for a t-shirt. Beautiful. Sweet. Uh, any specific pressure? If you want to put medium pressure on it. There we go. The steam is not a bad thing. You definitely want to be seeing steam when you're pre-treating and then pressing. It, what it means is that the actual pre-treat is drying up on the face masks. They're ready to print. Awesome. <laughs> it, it already looks legit. Do you see that? That is so fast how fast they printed the white. Yeah. The color profiles are so good and you don't have to mess around with a lot of the settings. And that's the really great part about this machine. Oh my goodness. I'm in shock at how little you have to play with the settings in order for the colors to show up that bright. It's the pre-treat game, that's for sure. That color is just spot on. I mean, I want you guys to see what it looks like on the computer. And when I say this, I'm talking to the specific few that have some other machines that don't have color recognition this accurate. It's just spot on. It looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, I love this thing. Don't, like, as far as print quality goes, like I said, like, it's fire. Like, you didn't have to play with any of the settings. It wasn't even at full blast. That's a three. That's a three. That's, that's half. A <laughs> three. I was going to say three out of what? Uh, six. That's sick. Awesome. Now we have two custom face masks. I can't wait to put this on my Instagram. Look at how good that looks already. The profit margins on doing face masks might be even higher than t-shirts too. You know what the benefit of printing on face masks is? Right. Is that the amount of print surface area is about the same as a left chest pocket print, but the amount that you can charge for it is almost equivalent to a t-shirt. Right. So if you were to like sell this one for 10 bucks, your profit margin on it is so much greater because one size fits all. You can buy a bunch of face masks at one time, save some money, and the amount of ink that you're putting down is so much smaller than a t-shirt. That's why the, the hats too are more profitable than t-shirts. I ran the numbers on that. Yeah, it's just like substantially more profitable. Oh, that looks so good. Awesome. Dang. The best part about it though is he didn't have to fiddle around with the settings. People would kill for stuff like this right now if they could just have custom face masks done in like two seconds. Well, that's the thing is you went from computer to print in a matter of minutes. Yeah. I feel like we're making the Kenyan Ken face mask pack. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> How much longer do you think people are gonna be wearing these? Probably until the end of the year. I've heard years. Yeah. Like I've heard people are gonna be wearing them for like over a year. I heard that after SARS happened, people are still wearing face masks. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what SARS is. Exactly. <laughs> because of face masks, you have to thank for that. <laughs> and that should be good. Boom! No smudging at all, too. Oh, that is like, beautiful. It's still super hot. I don't know why I, I know. Keep this <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, that's clean. It's centered, too. Like, that looks really cool. Fire. This is absolute fire. If I can only just find a just freaking wholesaler for black mask right now. That's... That looks sick. Kenyon, what was your experience printing face masks? I mean, way easier than t shirts. <laughs> this is literally like probably 20 cents worth of ink. And for the profit margin, I don't know what I could sell these for, but people. I feel like I can sell these like for at least 10 or $15 for a custom face mask, something like that. Oh, easily. And I know that it's not gonna be super easy to see in the video, but the amount that you went through to go from digital to print 
minutes. Yeah. It was super fast. Yeah, this thing is reliable when it comes to print quality. If you if you get the pre-treat down, have to get the pre-treat down. 